You want this fit to be as snug as possible. The tighter you get the fit, the better chance you have of not having to use wood filler. So there you go. That's a good fit there. Decent fit. This one's a little too short. Okay, so repeat the same thing here. bathroom makeover. So last week I showed you how I used step by step how I used board and batten and peel and stick wallpaper to transform this bathroom from a boring builder grade bathroom into this beautiful luxurious space. This week I am putting up the mirror. I am finishing up this vanity which I upgraded using poplar wood and changing up hardware and paint and I was able to upgrade the cabinets from these flat builder grade cabinets to a shaker style, classic, timeless, luxurious look for very cheap. <laughs> um, so if that sounds of interest to you, please just keep on watching. Also, if you have not checked out part one, please be sure to go back. I'll have it linked down below, but also I'll have a link here above so you can go check out how I got to this step in the process. And I will also be showing you how I style this bathroom in this video. Anything you see here, I will have linked that I can link or similar items linked down below. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So in the bathroom, I started out by taking off the cabinets. It's pretty easy to remove these sorts of cabinet doors and I just sort of laid them up against the wall and I also removed the hardware because I'm going to be replacing the hardware. Then I taped off the vanity because I'll also be painting the vanity the same color as the cabinets. Really quick update here. I removed the cabinet doors from the vanity. It's just when I put that beautiful paint in, everything looked, the cabinets looked trashy. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna update them. They're here, I took them off. I cleaned them with a degreaser called Crud Cutter. Um, and right now I'm gonna fill in these in the holes, the cabinet holes. And then what I'm gonna do is I have some poplar wood, which will go around the frame on the front. And this just helps to, first of all, create a shaker style cabinet. But second of all, it is going to create just some dimension and some depth to the cabinets so they don't look so just like builder grade and cheap and boring. So that's what I'm working on now. Filling the wood holes, I'm gonna sand them down, and then I'm going to add these to the frames of the cabinets. So I go in depth on how to do this upgrade to builder grade, like laminate cabinets. This is the step by step. So the holes have been filled and I have this poplar wood. Um, I believe this is a one and a half inch here. This is a one and a half inch. So I just sort of, it's good to go cabinet by cabinet. I mark it here, then I go over to my miter saw and I cut it. And then I take the uh, liquid nails and just a little so it doesn't overflow. Um, and I like to secure the sides first here before I fit the horizontal pieces. So I'm just doing three nails, brad nails. I have a five eighth inch brad nail here. Feed it on the other side. Then the next thing you wanna do is measure the horizontal piece. You wanna custom fit it and not pre-measure pre because 
you want the gap to be as close as possible. So I'm just making a pencil mark where I should cut it. I know that's leaving the B for bottom. And I do it again up top here. You want the fit to be as snug as possible. The tighter you get the fit, the better chance you have of not having to use wood filler. So there you go. It's a good fit there. Decent fit. This one's a little too short. Okay, so repeat the same thing here. Glue, pop it in. Glue, pop it in. And then take your time using the brad nailer, line it up well. You really only need two nails. And there you have it. It looks like shaker style. So the next thing you need to do is use the wood filler to fill in any gaps, cover the nail holes, sand it, and then I will be priming and painting it, which I'm not gonna show you because we all know what that looks like. <laughs> this mirror was an absolutely amazing find off of Amazon. It weighs about 45 pounds. I probably should have got some help from my husband hanging this, but I'm impatient. So I was able to get it up. The brackets on the back wall here, you'll see, um, I found studs and I hung this onto the studs and it's quite easy to just slip on. And this can either be hardwired or plugged in. There's my excitement for getting it up. Okay, ignore the darkness. I just wanna show you how cool this mirror is. Just got it up. Yee! Ah! I'm so pumped about this. Yeah, baby. Pick it up. Pick it up for plastic. This is so nice. What a massive, massive difference. I'm so excited about this. So the mirror has different functions on it. So there's supposed to be different lights. Like, oh, this is the warmer light. Dim it or make it go brighter. Let's see. Oh, wow. You guys, this is so lit. And all I had to do was plug it in. This is the coolest thing. I'm probably not even gonna use the light above anymore, but I'm so hype on this. Like, this is gonna be a huge, huge game changer for like me doing my makeup and getting ready in here. Anyways. Next step in this whole journey, I'm out in the garage. Cabinets have been wood filled, the wood trim has been added, and now I'm just going to prime them, and then paint, 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 and that'll be it aside from the Ikea shelf I need to build and paint for in here. We're like, I would say three fifths of the way done. As usual, covered in paint, but update, the cabinets are, so I primed them and put one coat of paint on them. And then these are the drawers. They have one coat of primer on them. I'm gonna have to wait 16 hours. I use Advance Paint by Benjamin Moore. It takes 16 hours to cure. You don't wanna rush the process because then the paint isn't as amazing as it could be. So after I get one coat on, uh, on both the front and the back, I'll have to wait until tomorrow to put the second coat on to be done done. So in the meantime, I bought this cabinet from Ikea. Well, it's actually a bully bookcase and I bought some glass doors to go with it. So I'm gonna put it together. It's really tall. I, I think it's like nine feet tall or something like that, which is good because it's narrow and it's taller than what I had, which is this guy over here. It just wasn't giving. I think the glass. <laughs> I think the glass will look a lot nicer. But also, I think it's got a good like three feet more of storage space, vertical storage space. So it pretty much goes all the way to the ceiling. So I'm going to put it together, and then I believe I'm going to prime it and paint it the same color that I'm painting the vanity, just so it can look more like uniform, which is so much work. But I think it'll be worth it. Putting together IKEA furniture.
bag. I put together the base of the bookcase. This is not where it's gonna go. I have it here because it's it's really tall and it's just gonna be easier to paint in place. Okay, this is how tall it is. Woo! It's actually gonna go against this wall here. So this is my stopping point for today. Just for reference, this is day three. <laughs> I gotta let everything dry and cure overnight. The first coat of the paint on all the cabinets and on this bookshelf. Then I can do the second coat tomorrow. That'll be that. Looking forward to being done and organizing this room. It's such a massive improvement. Like, it's so exciting. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. And I don't have much left to do. I just have to paint one more coat onto the vanity and one more coat onto this guy back here and one more coat onto the glass door that's going on this and then one more coat onto the cupboards and then I'm done you guys and then add the hardware onto the vanity so I'm so looking forward to being done this has been like actually this is day four <laughs> let's finish her up Now that everything's all painted, I am just putting the drawers back in and putting this room together. Doors back on to the cabinet that I assembled and painted from Ikea and then adding on all the hardware to everything. I don't know about you guys, but ripping off the painter's tape is always so satisfying to me. And finally, adding back on the last swinging cabinet doors to the vanity to finish this whole thing off. I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful this cabinet has turned out. So I did, I lined the cabinet with these white liners. I got like a roll. And then these I'll link. They're genius. So these compartments, I'm gonna put like all my hair products and stuff in here. And I cannot wait for that. And then this is going to be where I put my makeup. I also got these storage compartments that stack and they come with these really nice feet on the bottom. I will also link these for you guys, but these are just genius. Like you can do different configurations and they all stack into each other. So I got these baskets from Ikea, um, like all my cameras and stuff are in there. And then also like hair stuff is up there. Yeah, you guys, this is the cabinet. I'm so, so, so happy with this organization and it goes all the way up to the top and it's just incredible. I am so excited to be organized going into the new year. These are from Ikea, these drawers. I love that they slide open, slide open. So that'll just be so much better than currently that's where I've been keeping my makeup in this ridiculous travel bag, which is just nonsense. So I cannot wait to get organized. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done, but I just wanted to share the progress and just how beautifully this cabinet came out and the color and everything it just everything is just blending so nicely i still have to put the hardware on these these are going to get the same knobs that i have here so everything's going to match and this is the finished product you guys the cabinet turned out so good the vanity turned out so good i love the juxtaposition of this really beautiful putty white with the brass antique hardware that I got off of Etsy. Also, I added back in this rug, which I think is so beautiful. It's from Amber Interiors collaboration with Laloy. And then on the opposite wall, I actually added in these 
brass hooks that I got off of Amazon and they're real brass and I just think hardware is so important and you should not skip over adding in high-end hardware it makes the bathroom look so luxurious and then this is just a full of the cabinet you can see it goes from the floor to the ceiling which also just gives it that sort of built-in effect and then of course organizing all of my makeup and my hair products and things in here it's just going to help keep this bathroom neat and tidy as i get ready as many of you know while you're getting ready it's easy to make a mess this is going to make it easy for me to stay clean and organized another detail that i added in here that is just really making my bathroom feel luxurious is this marble ledge toilet paper roll that i also got off of it it's the toilet paper and it's a great place to put a phone or something when you're in the bathroom this is me showing you how the mirror works. You guys, this mirror is a game changer. It was under $300, again, on Amazon, and it just makes me excited to do my makeup and my hair because I can see everything. And there's also a heating function on it so that it takes the steam off of the mirror when you get out of the shower. I highly recommend this mirror, you guys, especially because the install is foolproof. It's an easy way to add luxury to your bathroom. On the right side of my vanity, I have this empty little space which was just getting cluttered and junked up, but I decided to add a full size hamper down here. This is probably the second or third hamper I have in my house, but it's always good to have a hamper in a bathroom. And then this trash can, oh my gosh, it's so sleek, it's white, and it fits perfectly in between the toilet and the vanity. And the most exciting part is if you hover your hand above it, it's automatic. You don't even have to touch it to open it. In a few seconds, ta-da, it closes on its own. And just because it's a bathroom, it does not mean that I'm not adding vintage. Vintage always helps my spaces feel more luxurious. This is a stool that I found at a local vintage antique shop downtown Los Angeles. And it's a great place to sit and put makeup or just an extra surface. For styling, I'm using this dry brush. It just adds texture, but it's also functional because I do dry brush. And then this is a towel that I found from Home Goods. It's just a 100% terry cloth towel with a really subtle stripe that goes with the already the color scheme that I have in my bathroom. Super simple styling here, but I love the texture and the simplicity and the warmth that these two items add on the hooks in my bathroom. Remember the before of my bathroom, I had a bunch of artwork in here that wasn't so sleek and clean, but I wanted this to feel really airy and light, so I added this coastal theme. I am in California, and this is the only artwork I'm going to hang in here because I have so much architectural detail, I don't need to clutter this bathroom up with a bunch of decor. The architectural detail is what helps it feel breezy and light, and I love this image that I got off of Etsy from a seller in North Carolina. I'm adding one more vintage bit into this bathroom and this is a Chinese oil pot that I also got off of Amazon from a real vintage dealer and then I'm filling it with these faux cherry blossom stems. If they come two in a pack and they look so real and lifelike and they really are some of the most beautiful faux florals I've ever owned. This bathroom gets no natural light so I have to go faux but I'm totally fine with it because of the ambience that these create. Keeping with the high-end affordable luxury finds from Amazon, this tray is a Viola Calcutta marble tray that I got off of Amazon. I cannot even believe it. It was about $50, and I just love adding pieces like this to group together items that if left on the counter alone might look messy. This just corrals the items together. So I'm putting in this Aesop hand soap, which I splurged on since I did so much work in the bathroom a wick cutter and an electric lighter and of course a candle. I'm loving this little vignette on the right side of the counter. It's functional and beautiful all at the same time. On the left side, I'm keeping the function and beauty going. This is a ceramic saucer that I found on Amazon as well from Bloomingville. And I love how it pulls in the colors of the sand from the photograph. And then next to it, I have this fluted marble bowl that I got off of Etsy. And one of my tricks to add luxury in a bathroom is just to add in these hand-rolled little microfiber towels. I love using them when I'm putting on my makeup or to clean up little messes when I'm getting ready. And here's a look back at the finished styled bathroom.
that is about it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and comment and of course subscribe, hit that subscribe button and so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, lots more makeovers and just sit down talking about interior design tips things of that nature coming your way, so I don't want you to miss out on any of that. But also liking and commenting, I love to hear from you guys, I love to hear what you want to see, um, and just interact with you, and it also just really helps my channel. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please be sure to follow me over at storydesign underscore with Corbin Reed. And also, I just launched an Amazon storefront, I will have that link down below, a bunch of the items that you see in this video are from Amazon, which makes it super easy and convenient to get your things when you need them. And I think I do a pretty good job of showing you things that are special and they're not just like run of the mill and things that you could potentially find on your own. So, thank you again for being here. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.